D-Day for Vibes Cartel next Thursday. The Privy Council in the UK expected to hand down its judgment in the jail DJ's murder appeal. Tonight, ER rewinds to the day in 2014 when the so-called world boss was hit with a guilty verdict. Convicted, near unanimous verdict sinks the world boss, but not before one juror attempts to bribe another. Cartel said to be in terrors as he was taken away from the Supreme Court. Earlier, Gaza fans face off against cops on bikes, in armored cars, cops wearing gas masks and carrying riot shields. The high command even calling out the cavalry, rider down, much to their amusement. Panicked bystanders take a tumble. The police not playing, as this man soon found out. I'm more like in them shoes at the moment still, but just wish him all the best. I eat KFC, I'm tired for eat. Right now, I'm dip and fast for cartel. I'm nice up dancer. Some more dancer artists not out there, I set the thing, you know, can listen to them too. No, I'm going say, Gaza, Empire. If I'm not doing road, I just saw him, I support him. Gaza will say, see him, he's straight. Now let him down. I'm supposed to be nervous because. A man like that shouldn't have them thing there. What you mean? When I say him, him should have like a shaggy and them man there. What I mean like him should have donated some money to, yeah. to for the children and to charity and thing. March 13, D-Day for Dancehall's most controversial if not biggest star. Police blaming media for the crowd getting out of control. Did you imagine the uh, Vibes Cartel fans were going to overrun the Supreme Court? Well, I'm not talking about the fans or what is happening in the Supreme Court, but we do know and I'm not making any mention of any particular issue in the Supreme Court either, but we have had issues here at the Supreme Court already um, that was not properly handled in the past, and we decided we have to be learned from our mistakes and take proactive measures. So that's that's what the Zeke's know. case. I'm not talking about any particular case. The arrival of Buster Rhymes and Junior Reed provoking a stampede by cartel fans. Buster beats a retreat. Both entertainers denied access to the court. Inside, Judge Lennox Campbell surprising almost everyone by sending out the jurors to consider their verdict at minutes to 4 p.m. Unheard of, whispered shocked lawyers. The jury taking just under two hours to file back into the courtroom. But not before rumors swirl that one juror had tried to bribe the foreman. Half a million, the alleged figure. The judge summoning both prosecutors and defense attorneys to his chambers. Something was up. The judge asking the jury to try again after their initial 10 to 1 count. Prosecution faces breaking into smiles. The defense tense and strained. The news circulates through the court that the jurors have found against cartel. Confirmation coming as the returned jury is polled again. Cartel stony faced as he hears the news that could put him away for life. 10 to 1. 10 to 1 also for all the rest except Shane Williams. Justice Campbell pleased with the result, telling the jury that based on the evidence, they'd done the right thing. Cartel with two weeks to go for the news to sink in before returning to court on March 27 for sentencing. Lead attorney Tom Tavares Finson, pale but composed and vowing to appeal. And you say on what basis you're going to make your appeal? All who have ears here. The jury has given a verdict and we accept it and move to the next process. Only Everton duo with something to smile about. His client Shane Williams freed by the jury, but shortly after, re-arrested by the cops. What does a high-profile case like this do for your career? Well, I couldn't say it. I probably could have to determine that at this point. But you feel pretty chuffed? Indeed. We have all put in some hard work over the past few months, four months. It's been longest recorded trial in history. Interviewed prior to the verdict, Shane's mom desperate to see her son walk. I pray last night, I got myself, so I'm not worried. That's what I'm going to A reliable source telling ER, Cartel was in tears as he set off on his umpteenth return trip to remand. The reality of today's verdict still fresh, but the extent of a long prison term to be decided later in March. However, Cartel, Sean Storm, Kahira Jones and Andre St. John, no, not the only only one set to return to court. Has a juror been arrested on bribery charges? Well, I do know before I came over from my information from the police that they have indicated that they had reasonable cause to suspect and from investigations that had been commenced that one of the jurors 
will have to face prosecution in respect of the charge of attempted did murder. That turn, the, did that turn the tide against the Vibes Cartel? Because the conventional wisdom, maybe before this, before today, was that cartel might be disrupted. Well, I really don't know about the conventional wisdom. I'm a prosecutor. We go on evidence. If we have the evidence and it is cogent and it comes up to the required standard, then we have a fighting chance. What delivered the blow? Well, the weight of the technical evidence, and here I have to commend the professional police officers who were associated with this matter for the quality of their investigation, and also, most importantly, the evidence of the civilian witness. The witness stood up to at least six days of grilling from the defense, learned defense counsel, and he was not shaken in any material form. Because me. in some people's mind, the Jamaican justice system was on trial here. Well, in Has it come through with flying colors? In mind, the Jamaican justice system was on trial. The case took about 64 days, and in that particular number two court, the prosecutors, other prosecutors who were assigned with other cases, had to adjourn all their cases. So it shows up the fact that the system is under-resourced and we need more courtrooms, but the flip side is that it shows everybody that notwithstanding the challenges, you have committed professionals in the system. Angry cartel fans staying put to voice their frustration with today's verdict. In the guilty. Yeah, man. The jury them not the right thing, but you have to go back over again. again. Them have to go back over it again. again. In the guilty. Me don't feel good. I don't feel the cartel get a free trial, but I hope him appeal. Me not feel good about the trial. Me hurt. I'm vexed about it. Cartel's impact not felt in Jamaica alone. He is considered the biggest, uh, most talented dancehall artist. Um, but where the, for the last three years, of course, he has been even more controversial than before. Do you expect to still hear Vibes Cartel music even if he might go to jail for life? Um, I remember Dracula was at number one when he was in prison. Um, I, after that, I thought it's probably not going to happen again in Jamaica, but Cartel could record, so... I don't know. Dance hall in the doldrums in recent years. His fans were looking to a freed cartel revitalizing a tired scene. After today, such hopes fading fast.